Good morning, folks. All you YouTubers, it's Lee here again, Lee Van Gamp. And I'm going out on a little trip today to Hemswell Antique Centre. I'm going to go and see if I can find a bargain that's worth a lot, a lot of money and make me a millionaire. Anyway, come along with me and um, let's go and have a look and see what they got there. So next time we'll, I'll see you, we'll be at Hemswell. We're now coming up to Hemswell. Antique Centre. Uh, evidently it's the biggest in Europe. And uh, I was told that last week Johnny Depp was here. Here we are. Yeah, this is it. There's um, several buildings here, so it takes a long time to go around all of them. Um, and um, Bargain Hunt and uh, Celebrity Road Trip, they usually come here. So you never know, I might bump into them. Right, that's the first one. That's called the guard room. Because down here, they've got a cafeteria. And I am absolutely, you guessed it, starving. There's a few people here. It's a free car park, what it used to be. Now, I want to park somewhere where I don't have to do a lot of walking. Right, this will do me. Well, I'm going to that one over there. Because that's the one that's got the cafeteria. Okay, here we go. This is the first one we're going into, which is number one. Hello. You'll probably see my little legs here, look. <laughs> little bow legs. Oh, I haven't been here for ages. Oh, coffee shop's down there. Right, let's go and have a look inside. Open sesame. Oh, how about that? Magic. So there's lots to see in these places. You need to spend a week here, really. But... This is just some of the stuff. Mm. All right, there's an antique Lee. Look how much he is. Oh, I like them. Oh, they're, they're very nice. <coughs> how much are these? 5,500. Uh, look at this, look. You know I like me art. Oh, I like these. I bought some artwork up here all oh, ages ago. And um, I think it's an original that I've got. I'm going to have to get it uh, checked out. It's by Mark Chagall, if it's an original. Yeah, that's a nice grandfather clock. Not many people go for these these days. How much is it? Two thousand six hundred and fifty. It's a 18th century. Look at that. That's a nice chest, that is. I like that. How much is that? Oh. Two hundred and sixty-five. Yeah. Nice. Now down this corridor there's lots of paintings, look. RAF aircraft, Lancaster, Spitfire. Yeah. That's all your silver. Look at that lot. As I say, you could spend hours in a place like this. I wish I was here last week when Johnny Depp was here though. I wonder if he bought anything. Yeah, is that? Clown's Cliff. Looks like it. There we are, we've got a nice couple of urns there. How much? Are they Greek? How much is a Greek urn? <laughs> How much is a Greek urn? Get it? Oh, forget it. 1895, I hope that's for the pair. 
China. <laughs> Lovely colours. Here we've got some Clara's Cliff. I used to call it Clarence Cliff, but it's not, it's Clara, Clara's Cliff. I used to have a rocking horse. Not like that though. It's nice, isn't it? It sits on the black. Oh, I can't read that. I'll zoom up and you can have a little look. There's a smaller one there. Oh, look. Oh, I like all the classic toys. Look at that, look. Oh, yeah. Takes me back to when I was a little kid. I used to have the uh, SD Martin DB5 James Bond. I wish I still had it now in a box. It'd be worth a lot of money. Just think, if we knew back in those days to, to buy two toys, play with one and keep the other. Because it's better than putting money in the bank. Because some of the prices of these, I mean, look at that, that one there. That little car there is £70. Hello. You just hanging around? Now, my dad used to make these, Butchie Brocks. That is solid. Absolutely solid, that is. I bet it weighs a ton. How much is that? 1295 yeah. Yeah. That's probably, that's probably beech, or it could be oak, or a mixture. Some people like this stuff in their kitchens. If you've got an oldie weldy kitchen with uh, open brickwork. Yeah, it can look very nice. Yeah. Some brass scales. Alright, we've got some auto memorabilia here. Nice stop sign. And there's the old Cortina. Was it the Mark 1? Was it the Cortina E? Spark plugs. RAC sign. My granddad had a Esso garage in um, Bottle of Mus Muswell Hill, North London, back in the 60s. Um, I've got actually cine film of me when I was about three in a pram. Well, I'll have to I'll have to show you some of that. It's good to see it all those days. Back in that was Hornsey, North London, and uh, we used to get the uh, carnivals. We used to go past the garage, and we've got that on cine. And uh, all the old cars, E-Type Jags, uh, Estee Martins, the old uh, Zephyr, Ford Zephyrs. Then they used to have uh, floats with all the um, the queens on it, like, you know, from out, um, Hendon, um, Olsey. Yeah. All the, all the glamour queens were. Now look at this. This is hand-carved. God, that's heavy. And it's hand carved heavy wood bowl, 500. No, not 500. It's 58 pounds, is it? 73p? Is that right? Anyway, you can see it's handmade. Hello. Some people hate this stuff. I love it. I love, I love all this old gear. Some people won't I'll give it air for him. Especially my brother and his wife. Oh no. He'll be thrown out. That's, they call it tat. <laughs> Someone spent all that time painting that. It could have taken them a year. You know, it's like, I think to look at that, you know, not everyone can do that. Even I struggle sometimes to do a nice piece of art. But as I said before, I like to do mine quick. I was sort of right impressionist. Got a nice mirror over there. Oh, we've got some down here. Got some chairs. Oh, look, we've got a little one there. That's that Diddy. Oh, Martin can sit in that. Mr. Butler. 
Yeah. These are library steps. And that is Art Deco. Which I think is nice. In the right setting, with white walls and cream carpet, that look very nice, that one. Hello, Ted. You alright? How long have you been here then? Oh, a long time, a long time. No one's bought me yet. <laughs> yeah, what have you got? Now that's quite big, look. You can tell by the size of my hand, it's what they call a pond yacht. 268. Hand built. That's what they call them. Some more statues. I like these type of statues. Again, in the right setting with white walls. They'd look good. for the pair that's not bad me and my late wife Carol we used to love these places we used to buy stuff like that for the houses we used to do up the old lantern over there that would be their entertainment in those days slide lantern some of them they, they were animated when they, they put the slides in they would move <laughs> £98, that's not bad for something that, what age is it, doesn't say, Magic Lantern, that's what they're called, yeah, it's even got the bulb still in it, I think, oh, that's a nice nude, yeah, I like that, that's my style, 88, yeah, I'll knock a few of them out, and the painting, Sorry to be rude. Yeah, look at that chair. Looks like a a palm, a hand. See, so you, you don't get stuff like that nowadays. Modern stuff. It's got character. Look at look at the legs. Look, all that all all night carving. All right, it might be reproduction, but still nice. And look at the brasswork. Look. Candelabras. Now, I think candelabras in the right setting are on a nice big table. I love to have a castle. Oh, look. Mm. Oh, we've got some oh, dragons, gargoyles. How much are they? Ooh, he's evil looking. £375 a pair. Automobilia posters. Oh, we've got some modern art here. Quite like that, you can't see, but that's actually like 3D relief. Who's it by? Mill Chambers 265. Yeah, I like that. See, look, you even got upstairs. There's so much. This is just one building. There's several of these buildings. Right, I'm gonna think it's time to have a cup of coffee. What's that say? Please use exterior door coffee shop. Okay. Right, coffee shop, here we go. Sun's out, I might be able to sit outside. Oh, that sun's lovely. Hit me, hit me sun, hit me. Here we go, coffee shop is open. Hello. This is nice in here. Big place. Let's go and see what they've got. Well, there's a cap large cappuccino and I've ordered a um Sonia yeah. bacon bat with uh, fried egg and bacon. Because they haven't they don't do the breakfast uh, the breakfast are only up to uh, twelve o'clock. But that'll do. We'll say it later. 
Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. Bit of bacon, a bit of it. Well, I've just had my uh, coffee and bat, which was very nice. Um, I'm sitting outside now, just resting my knee for a little while. Uh, I'm going to go back inside and go upstairs, look around, and if I do get time, because it shuts at five, it's about three o'clock now, see if I can go around um, and look at some more bits and pieces. So I'll catch you later. Well, if you look over there, just behind that tree, is my little van. <laughs> That's quite a distinctive painting. Let's see if I can get have a look at that. I like that. I like, I like the orangey colours. What's it? I can't see what it says. I'll let you lot read that. Everywhere I go, there's always a, a Lee Van Camp. <laughs> Hello, Lee Van Camp. Ooh. How much is Lee Van Camp? He is £55. Ah, uh, £55. <laughs> oh! Right, so we'll have a look around. Here we've got a Bakelite radio. It was made out of Bakelite. It's like a form of plastic. You know? In fact, this radio is before me, because I was born in 1960. So this is... Oh! Can't see what it says. On the ticket. It says... Oh, fancy putting it there like that. Colster Brandy's radio. Untested. Couple of teddies. Oh, the old phone. I remember these. Oh, even I had, we had these when I was. Um... Hello. Uh, is that a bargain hunt? Uh, I say, would you take 50p for your phone? It's <laughs> alright, I'm a mad half hour. <laughs> oh, I just done that and the lady walked past and gave me a funny look. <laughs> oh, crazy. Oh, hello. Oh, that's nice. That's a, a bar. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, isn't it lovely? Oh, I like that. Art Deco cocktail cabinet. Is that 12,500? Christ. Isn't it lovely? Oh, yeah. They don't make them like that anymore, do they? They're gorgeous. Tinted, look, tinted glass. Put all your bottles up there and glasses. Even comes with a Lee Van Camp. He gets everywhere, doesn't he? <laughs> right. And that's not for playing golf. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> no one saw that. <laughs> it's only worth 12,000 now. <laughs> Quick, shut it up, Lee. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> I'm doing a Charles Anson from Bargain Hunt. He keeps, he keeps knocking things over. <laughs> okay. Quick, I was looking. <laughs> That's nice. That's under what they call a... Uh, is it a, not a vitrine? There's a name for it, isn't there? What do they call that? And it's under a glass dome. Perhaps you'll tell me. Got a bus there of who's that? Bronze Peyton plaster bus. Must be of someone famous. I came somewhere like this and they just busted Hitler. Oh. <laughs> Sorry? It was a bust of Hitler. A bust of Hitler? <laughs> Not here. 
Yeah. Oh, is there? A bust of Hitler. That won't last long. <laughs> oh look, I feel a little, I feel a little bit sore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's my sense of humour. <laughs> Tell you something I always wanted, and they seem to have it in here. Is a writing desk and a chaise lounge. I like the chaise lounge. I was, I was going to make one once because it's quite easy. Just a bit of foam and then put the old uh, material around it and then put some, bang some studs in. Yeah, his master's voice. That was before CDs and whatever. Evidently, there's a bust of Hitler somewhere around here. Oh, look at him. He's big, isn't he? Well, he's still alive. <laughs> oh, well, better sit down at my desk. Oh! Better start getting my own, get my stuff out, start writing some checks. Nice, that, I like that. Nice chair as well. Look at that. Kind of like a captain's chair. Right, I bet you don't know. What would have been in this box? Yeah, look at it. What does it look like? Well, this is what the old gents used to put their top hat in. Yeah, look at that. Keep it pristine. Look at that. You don't get that these days. Quality. Here we go, we've got another room. There's rooms within rooms. That's nice, I like that. That's, that's nice. Someone's made that with all the marker train. It's taken a long time. I mean look, see how it's made? Proper dovetail joints. You don't get that now. All it is now is MDF and screwed. And that's marble, that top. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Has he got a price? Where's his price gone? Is it wrapped around his neck? Yeah. Perhaps he's not for sale. Oh, oh my God. I thought it was Martin looking at me. I like wardrobes like that. Freestanding character. In the right house, they can look stunning. Yeah. And now, you see this? Well, this is what I used to do. I used to buy these up, these old... Uh, units for about 20 30 quid and then I would chalk them yeah paint them up with uh, chalk paint and then I would uh, oil them or wax them and I would do it to distress it like this put a rag over it or a sponge just just to take the color off and leave the color underneath and I tell you what I would sell them for three four hundred pounds and uh, I could, I could do one of them in a day, maybe quicker, you know. This is what they do, it's upcycled. People like this, a bit like Shabby Chic, when they take the paint off the edges and that. The more chipped, the more shabby chic. <laughs> That's nice. If you like flowers and uh, fruit, I just, it's the way it's been painted, look. On on canvas, oil on canvas. Very, very clever. Oh, there he is again. He gets everywhere, doesn't he? Now you can see the way this is set out. This could be a, a set for a hammer film. Do you have a little hammer film? 
Summer Fields with Peter Cushion, Christopher Lee. I still love them. I still watch them. I think they're they're great, especially Dracula. That's a big pond yacht. That is big. Look at that. Look. Compared to the size of my hand, they want £495. Early 20th century. They sold, no, no, for it's, it's a no, pond yacht, that's right. Right, as I said, I've always wanted a suit of armour, a castle, and a chair like that. So I could sit in that. Oh! Oh! Yes, King Lee in my castle with a big oak table about 50 foot long and benches down the side, wenches serving drink and beer, oh, eating chicken, big open fire. Oh, well, flagstones on the floor. Don't buy me side, that's me. I could just imagine that. Oh well, one day. Do a look in here. Sorry, I was, I was just doing a little video. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. I like that. <coughs> Did you paint that? Oh, um, I mean, Did... this is the husband's. He, we bought it back from Turkey. He'll tell you the back story. You could go it from where? Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. Place yeah, I like that. Good, isn't it? Yeah. He's a fantastic Turkish artist. You can see, yeah. I, I, I do a little bit of art. Not as good as that, though. He's good, isn't he? Yeah. Do you pay a lot for it? Yeah. <laughs> How much is it for now? Can't see. How much do you want for it? Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. Did me on it? Yeah. Not, not at the moment. My house is not quite big enough. Can always find a wall for good art. It's true. That's true. That's Just true. Something where that's not as nice. Yeah, one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can always knock one of your rolls. Like, I could do. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the easy. <laughs> See, look, when you compare it to something like that. Yeah, but you know, but some famous. people like that sort of He's stuff. He's very famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picasso. I mean, he was a great artist. But he realised that he could just put squiggles and, and then make yeah. thousands. They're nice as well. Which one? They, they, these, they, these, the these are statues. fantastic. They're not from Turkey, are they? These are from the Philippines. Are they? Yeah, these are original. These are tourist pieces from the 1950s when the Americans started visiting after the war. Oh, after this video, you might, might get some customers. If I put this on YouTube, my little channel. That'd be nice. Have you got a name for this little place? This is Blue Lamp Antiques. Blue lamp. And did you do hear that, folks? Get down here. Oh, yeah. All the good stuff. And all the good stuff. <laughs> a nice hat. This is a fedora. Yeah. I like them. Shall I try it on? Oh. Got to be careful I put this on. Yeah, what do you think? Does it suit me? As long as it won't take me do that off with it. That would be funny. <laughs> this is the only problem with these places. Is going downstairs. But I'm not doing so bad today. Painkillers. But I'm getting to the end of my resilient. Was um Oh, what's his name? I forgot his name now. Yeah, last week. Uh, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Oh, God, I missed him. Two weeks ago now. Oh, yeah, he's not coming back, is he? Don't worry, we all missed him. He shopped after hours. Uh, <laughs> well, I've done a painting of him. I could have brought it up and he could have uh, bought it or put it for a charity yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, well. They reckon he's coming back, but I don't think the public will right. be able to see him later. It would just it'd be, it'd be bombed out if, if the public knew. So that's why I know. Well, you, well, you don't know, do you? Yeah. That's why nobody knew. You know? No. So, yeah. Oh, well. Otherwise, yeah. Maybe next time. That's it, yeah. <laughs> see you later. Right. Cambry Antiques. Looks a bit quiet here. We'll make this the last one. Uh, 
as I said, that's about my limit. There's the doll's house. I made one of them about whew, four times the size of that. Uh, I never finished it. A bit like me. I never fish any, finish anything. That's different. Oh look. I like that. Should uh, make a game of that, couldn't you? Wonder if it's a sale. Have a guess how much that is. Hundred pounds. Bloody hell. Hello. I've got must have a thousand records indoors. Oh, is that, is that Simon Says? Oh, yeah. Let's have one of them. You have to repeat all the combinations of the colours. Radio stereo. <laughs> What's that there? A infrared motion sensor. <laughs> now, it's still modern technology, but now it's dated. Nice tins for the man cave. The real McCoy. What else we got? Oh, guitars. Yeah. I wish I could play a guitar. I'm not very musical. Well, I, I've been told I can sing. <laughs> but I think most of them are being polite. Oh, look. No. Hey. Oh, a robot like that, and, and his guns used to open up, and he go do 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 do. And I had Robbie the robot, which was the black robot from the Forbidden Planet, not B nine robot, which was from uh, Lost in Space. Oh dear, Michelin Man, I sold one of them once. I paid twenty five quid for it. It was big, and he had he was sitting like he was sitting down. I sold it for £300 on eBay. How about that? My uncle used to collect them. All those cars. Fortnum and Masons. Now that's a, a famous shop. I wonder if it's the original. There we are for all you train lovers. Have they got the Flying Scotsman in there? I never, I never was into trains. I used to have a scale electric. I remember my mum and dad... I must have been about three, I thought about three or four. Anyway, they bought me a train set, but all it done went round and round. And they had to tell me before Christmas, would I, did I like it? And I didn't. So they ended up getting me a scale electric set. But there again, I was too young for it. But my dad played with it, he liked it. What he'd done eventually was, he put it on a bit of eight before uh, ply. And in my bedroom, it'd have it so it come down from the ceiling, and all the uh, track was fixed down, and all the stands. And when I wasn't playing with it, I used to pull it up. But it wasn't for about two or three years later, after my dad wore it out, that I could play with it. <laughs> yeah, good old days. Oh, hello. Are you for sale? <laughs> How much are you then? <laughs> Does he talk? No. 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 He's, he's not bothered. <laughs> is he your guard dog? Spitfire. I was just uh, talking to a chap there. And uh, he was looking at a clock. It must have been about 17th century. And he took it off and I said, oh, are the batteries in it? <laughs> Sorry. Boom, boom. Yeah, do you like Toby jugs? They used to be the rage back in the 50s. Look at that lot. <sighs> Old Toby jug. You either hate them or you love them. There's some film posters. Oh, what have we got in here? Ah, that was like my dad, my brother's rocking horse, that one. These were slightly bigger than that. 
After a while, he wouldn't have it in the house because it spooked him. He thought it started rocking in the middle of the night. Probably did. Oh no. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? No, I'm not going to say it this time. <laughs> the miracle. Marmite. Oh, look at that. Not seen that before. That tin been made into a light. It's different. Little piggies. My late wife, she loved pigs. I think that's why she married me. Oh, well, they knew I was coming. They got my bag out for me. The boss. So look down here. I can see a Lancaster bomber right down the end. It's been there for a long time. Look at that, folks. That nice. Look at the size of that. I saw more there, look. You can see how big that is. By my hand. It's nice that. Oh look, you've got the bomb underneath. Oh, I've got the old uh, army coat. Petroleum blue. I had one of them when I was at college. I loved it. I got the bees and knees I did when I was about 17, 18. Yep. Christ, that's a few years ago. I was at art college. I had all the girls after me. Not now. 40 years. 40, more than 40 years on. God. 63. Oh, I don't want to know. Don't want to know. Here's one for all the little, little people. A little toddlers. Whatever. Well, for me as well. Rupert the Bear. Rupert. Rupert the Bear. Everyone knows his name and all of his games, I think. <laughs> Rupert. Look, oh, they've even got the bat phone. I like him. <laughs> That's unusual. And you got the, the, the rabbit, the penguin. And the polar bear. Like them. Oh, hello. You look rather nice. Where have you been all my life? I say. Oh, rather nice. As Terry Thomas would say. See, when you go to these places, you don't know what you're going to find. Or who you're going to find. You might even find someone famous. Oh, like, da da cheap with chips. Here he is. Oh, Dickinson. The real deal. <laughs> this is a bit like my spare bedroom. <laughs> Chock-a-block. <laughs> it's Yogi Bear. Hey, boo-boo. Let's go do get some picnic, boo-boo. Okay, Yogi. Now look at that, that's a nice sign if you've got a, a media room put over the door, box office. Oh look, loads in here. Reception, dentist, well that reminds me we've got toothache. And of course, the Fab Four, the Beatles. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. My brother looked like him when he was little. Isn't he cute? Didn't have a dog though, but you want to see him now? Old Daddy Pally. Bigger than me. Hello? The Bells, the Bells. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh! I hope this is the last stairs I have to go down. There's that dog again. Oh. 